a threat from a Democratic congressional candidate? As we've told you, Virginia Democrat Mike Dickinson tweeting, if elected, I promise war on the Tea Party, Fox News, NRA, and other trash. And Mike Dickinson joins us. Nice to see you, sir. Good to see you, too. I'm okay, why do you hate me? Back. Well, I, I have a problem with all of Fox News. Well, but no, what about me? You got a, I mean, I'm Fox News. Why do you mean I'm trash, apparently? So what's the problem with me? I don't have a problem with you personally. I have a problem with the company you work for. <laughs> I think that I think that the facts are misrepresented. See, Every day is an attack on Obama. Do we misrepresent? Do we misrepresent here and on the record? I can't say personally that you do. Okay, we don't watch that much. Well, I'm, I don't watch much. I can say the like the previous story with those with those two cowboys. You know, you have that story, and that's a good story. But it should be prefaced by the fact that they are they're breaking the law, did, and that's why they not, got tased. Did taste. you not hear me say the court order that I read? You shouldn't like that, that guy. He he's no. Did you hero. not? Hear, did you hear me say that? <laughs> I did hear you say okay, that. Okay. Did you want me to say it twice <laughs> or three times? Yes, but okay. then you still put them on, and and that in, in my mind that's you know kind of grand. It's, it's encouraging people to fight the police and fight the government, and like it's some you know. It doesn't federal he, government situation. Oh, wait a second. Let's go back to this war on Fox News. Yes. Well. All right. Tell me exactly what your problem is with me. My problem with you is that you have guests like the previous like the previous story and it, it encourages people to fight the government like Obama and the and the federal government is this big bad authority that they're coming to take your land they're coming to take your house they're coming to take your cattle I, I don't get you must have a potato in your ear because I said the court order like I don't get it like, you did I mean, you did but there's some people out there that watch your show what? and that watch Fox News you that think they have potatoes you know, in their ear they didn't hear that part yes they didn't hear that part yes so so the problem is not is not so much what I do but that the viewers have potatoes in their ears yes okay I, I all right well now we got that <laughs> All right, now the Tea Party. Um, yes. Any any Tea Party arrested in your jurisdiction? Any Tea Party? Yeah. Arrest? Yeah. Uh, any arrest? They, there is a strong like Tea Party movement in, in the. Uh, any, anyone arrested? Not that I know of. You don't think it's the First Amendment, do you? The Tea Party? No, I love the First Amendment. Well, then why can't they have their position? I think that they can have their their position, but I think that they misrepresent their position. It's not we the they people. Have, they got potatoes in their ears. The, the Tea Party is not the we the people, flag flying, eagle soaring. It's not the movement that, that the, they portray. Their movement is the me movement. It's not we the people, it's me the people. Okay, so you they think They want you think rights it's, that it's, apply to them, but they don't want to give those rights to anybody else. Oh, <laughs> and But yeah, you don't want them to have the rights, see? I think they have you a don't right want to them. speak. I think they have a right to speak. Well, you want to have a war on them, for God's sakes. I mean, you say you want a war on them, you don't I want do. to hear what they have to say. I think that they, they need a war on them because of the fact of how they portray themselves. They, they, they portray this image that's totally not who they are. It's totally not who they are. Okay, and that's really bad to portray yourself not as who you are, right? Exactly. Okay, terrible. All right, let's go to this. Uh, speaking of that, a letter of the Times Dispatch you wrote January 29, 2013, and you claimed that you were the CEO of Mid Atlantic Show Clubs, which is a group of strip clubs and stuff, right? That's, that's correct. Okay, that wasn't true, was it? I worked for I, I consulted for them. I did. Okay, it says CEO of Mid Atlantic. Were you the CEO? I was the, uh, I guess, consulting operations so director. That wasn't quite true, was it? It was wrong. It was a lie. A little bit of a lie, right? Tiny one? That's a little true. bit of a lie? Yes. Okay. All right, you speak you like transparency. I went to your website, your campaign website, yes. and uh, you, it talks about who you are. It says about Meet Mike, okay? Meet Mike, and you know what? You didn't put in here um, about how you uh, were a lobbyist uh, for strip clubs and you learned from Larry Flint not to sugarcoat but to tell it like it is. But you didn't tell it like it is here, right? If somebody asked me, I'll tell them how Larry Flint said that, that was, to me. But that was not, you didn't exactly meet Mike. We don't really learn about Mike here, do we? We learn about Mike on Twitter every okay. day. Well, Twitter, there's <laughs> another thing. Okay. Um, let me ask you anything. You said, the thing you don't like about is it is it the loop of partisan bickering. Yes. I'm curious what you think when you sort of tweet about people will be like, you just go out there and you tweet, like you have a war on Fox News, you know, including me, I guess, that you have a war on the free speech of the Tea Party. As, you don't like that stuff, do you? I don't care for the Tea Party. Okay, but you, but you don't like, it says on your meet mic that you don't like this pick, par partisan bickering. My, my deal with the partisan like bickering is that I think all political parties are, are, are fake somewhat. Instead of somebody... But, you, but, but somebody it says smiling. you don't like it, but you right. do it. Well, I why? don't partisan bicker. I just say Well, you I don't? Think. Well, then let's go to your Twitter account. You want to go to your Twitter account? I just say, your Twitter are, account's been opinion. suspended, right? No, it's been active, reactivated. Okay, but it was, it was suspended, right? Somebody that I was being mean on Twitter, so all these would people... That be, would that be that partisan bickering you don't like in the meet mic? No, man, no. You don't think so? <laughs> no. You say, so you don't think that the thing that you said in Meet Mike, that if you don't like to, partisan bickering, and then your Twitter account gets shut down, yours for partisan bickering, for you don't have a problem mean. with it. Somebody said I was being mean on Twitter, and I was just sitting there expressing my opinion. My deal with all politicians is politicians could, should say who they are, and they should say well, what I'm, they really well, okay. believe in. Then, then we go back to Meet Mike. You don't mention any place in this little paragraph of Meet Mike on your website about, your, about working for Larry Flint and you know, writing stuff for him, and you don't write about that. Um, at all, do you? you? Don't write about the strip clubs. You don't write that you lied when you wrote to the newspaper and bragged you were the CEO of a strip club organization that you're not. 
I also didn't put all the stuff I put on Twitter on there either. You want to take back your war on Fox? No. You don't? <laughs> no. Why are you running? I'm running for office because I think we need politicians who say what they think and who don't hold back. You should not sugarcoat. You should not. You should not lie. You should not. You should not just say. say you, you lied to the newspaper. How can you say that? How can you possibly say that to me? I mean, I think that I think these politicians should just be honest about what they think. Well, and what holy they, who they are. I mean, like, why did you lie to the newspaper? I mean, like, when I, when I, there's a lot of politicians out there at war with Fox, but how many other ones have come out and said it? Would you agree with me on that? Oh, you know, Mike, it's going to be a long election. I, I hope you come back. Will you come back? I'll come back anytime you <laughs> All right. All right, you're a piece of work. Anyway, Mike, thank you. Good luck thank in you your campaign. Much.